Agile PM Foundation, Lesson 5, Quality. My previous question from you was about the different way of managing quality in these two development approaches, predictive and adaptive, Agile and Waterfall. In adaptive systems, we have cycles of development. And one of the things we have in the cycle is to test. And testing relates to quality. That's, of, of course, only part of our quality management. We have lots of other things because testing is usually done after we complete something or almost complete something. And if it doesn't work properly, then it might be too expensive to fix it. That's why in project management, especially if you know about Prince2 and the PMBOK guide, we have a lot of things before testing. We also have it in IT development, but testing in IT development is a little bit wider than what we have in other types of projects. And it's it covers most of the things we have in quality management. So whenever it's about quality management in this context, in agile context, think about testing, okay? So in predictive approaches, we run the processes one after the other. First, we specify everything and then we design everything and then build everything and test and integrate. There might be some overlaps, but they are sequential in nature. So testing will be done at the end of the project, towards the end of the project. And the point is that you've been involved in many projects, probably, most likely, and you know how it works. We are almost always behind a schedule and we are under a lot of pressure at the end of the project especially. That's when we have to test. And in most cases, we have to do the tests as soon as possible. We can't do it properly. We can't do it the way we want it because we don't have enough time. What happens? We are compromising quality. How does it work in adaptive systems? We have multiple cycles and testing is one part of each cycle. So take a look at this life cycle here. It doesn't matter when we cut it. Maybe we're short in time and we have to stop the project. Whenever you cut it, we will have the same ratio of testing in our project. That's great. It means that we can have a better quality because the time pressure and everything else doesn't create problems here. And that brings us to our next principle of never compromise quality. That's one of our principles in the SDM. It's not only um, something we like to do. It doesn't tell you, make sure you're not compromising quality. That's what we always do in every kind of project. But the other point here is that we have a certain process that helps us to reach this great principle. Okay, my other question about the difference between these two uh, approaches to development. How do you see the difference in business involvement, people from the business side or the customer side? Whenever I say business, it's almost the same as saying the customer, right? So, is there a difference between the way the customer or business is involved in the project in a predictive and in an adaptive project? Let's talk about it in the next lesson. <music>